Hello everyone and welcome to my LAN SQL Complete course. This course is designed for anyone who has little or no knowledge of SQL and would love to learn SQL from the beginning. Let's take a look at what we'll be covering in this section. I'll talk briefly about myself. We'll go through the course curriculum and see if there is any prerequisites. I will discuss the course structure. We'll guide and download some applications needed for SQL and will complete installations. My name is Alex and I'll be your instructor in this course. I've been working with data for about seven years, worked as a database administrator, business analyst, as well as a data analyst. And in all my time working with data, SQL has been central to what I do and I'm thrilled to be on this journey with you. That would be all about me. You're probably more interested in learning SQL than learning about me. So who should learn SQL? Frankly, anyone interested in working with data, either personally or professionally. If you intend going into a data-related career, for instance, data analysis, data science, work as a business analyst, a business intelligence consultant, report analyst, ETL specialist, or any data related field, the importance of knowing SQL cannot be overemphasized. Often I get the questions about what do I need to learn SQL? Should I have a background in, in computer science? Should I not code or have previous knowledge about programming languages? The short answer to that is no. The long answer to that is also no, you don't have to have a science background or math background. You don't have to have prior coding knowledge. Certainly, if you do come from that field or you, you have those knowledge, it definitely would help. But that's not nothing to worry about, especially because the scope of this course and the way it's structured, it is such that if you have zero knowledge, you're able to start from the very beginning and walk your way up to becoming highly skilled in SQL. Having said that, you do need a computer because everything we'll be doing will be on the computer. And the best way I find to learn is that you code along with me. And uh, so you definitely do need a computer to be able to learn. And this could be a Windows operating system, could be a MacBook, either of those would work fine. Now, in my experience, even though technically you only need one computer, because you'll be watching a video, it means that you would have to toggle back and forth between the screen where you're writing the codes and the video itself. Of course, you might be able to you know, share your, you know, divide your screen such that you, you have the, the video on one side of the screen and then you're coding on the other side of the screen. But if you do have a, another device, for instance, an iPad or maybe even a second, um, another computer, I think it will definitely help because then you can be watching on one device and then, you know, code along on the other device. But by no means am I asking you to go get an iPad or get another computer to, to learn SQL. You can definitely um, do, do perfectly well just using your one, one computer. So let's take a look at the course outline. So it's, a, it's quite an extensive um, curriculum we have here. And, and again, this is structured in a way that even if you have no clue about what SQL is and you're looking to learn from the beginning, you're able to do that. So the, the first model is really just us doing the downloads we need and installing different applications and testing it and just making sure that we are all set up because we'll be learning SQL within a server environment, which I think it's very important. It helps because when you do, you know, if you get a job, if you're looking into going into, um, again, a field in, in, in data, and data, any data related field, a lot of times you'll be working within a server. So it's good to, um, to familiarize yourself with actually working within a server. So we'll do all of that in, in the first model. And then the second model will 
uh, go deeper into you know what's SQL uh, talk about the different dialects of SQL or the the uh, yeah the, yeah I, I call it the different dialects um, of SQL the different types if you will of um, SQL and I will talk about data what what is it how do you define data and what a database is and then we talk about a database management system and the third model will dive into data types we'll talk about tables and within sql there are, there are several data types and we'll be looking into some of those and then at fault model we'll look at data definition language and this is where we'll also be looking at sql constraints in the the, the fifth model model five we'll look into um, data query language we'll talk about or we'll actually use the select statements, the where clauses, and then uh, model six, we'll look at data manipulation language, we'll look at insert, update, and delete. Um, we'll move right into string functions. And, uh, there's a whole lot of different string functions. We would uh, take a look at some of those. And then model eight, we'll move into sorting our data and see how we're able to do that. And then we'll look at aggregate functions in model nine, Look at how we group our data and how we apply some mathematical function to our data. And then we'll talk more about data types. Uh, like I said earlier on, there are several data types. Uh, um, you know, th yeah, there are several data types within SQL and um, we'll be able to go deeper into that in model 10. Model 11, we'll look at logical operators. Model 12, we'll look at case statements, we'll work with subqueries. Um, model 13 and 14, we'll work with, uh, look at data relationships. And um, model 15, we'll work with Adventure Work Database, um, which is a, a, a much larger data set that we can work with, so we'll be doing that. Uh, model 16, we'll look at stored procedures, and then we'll, do, um, we'll work with indexes and in the 17th model. And then we'll wrap up these this course. So the way I will be teaching this course is to toggle between using slides and coding on the within the SQL server. And oftentimes those slides would contain maybe a, a new concept, a new topic, or perhaps look into a, a syntax for a, a function, for instance. And then once you want to make, want to explain that, that, that topic or that concept, then we go into the, the SQL server where we do the query, you know, that we do the coding itself. Along the line, there are times in which I would challenge you to, I would have some questions or, or a task for you to do. And I'll, I'll really just challenge you to to pause the video, try your hands out and see if you can actually write the queries or write the codes for that particular task. And then once you do that, then we will together actually, you know, write the code as well, which I will go to again inside SQL Server and I would provide the answers to the to the questions. So let's go ahead and install our Microsoft SQL Server, and we will talk more about you know, what Microsoft SQL Server is. Um, but for now, this will be where we'll be writing our queries or, or learning our SQL. The, I will provide the link to all the downloads. However, in the next video, you'll actually be able to I'll walk you through how to install and do those downloads and install on, on Windows operating system. And if you are using a MacBook, the video after the, the Windows will be for a MacBook. So you can always, you can just skip the uh, SQL Server installation from Windows and just go to the uh, SQL, SQL Server installation for Mac.